The two Koreas have opened their first round of reunions of families separated by the Korean War in more than three years. More than 80 South Koreans arrived in the North on Thursday. Some met with relatives they haven't met in more than 60 years. Our Kim ji hyun reports on the highly emotional event that the participants probably feel like they've waited for all their lives. Thank God you're still alive. These were the first words from 52-year-old South Korean Park Young-kun as he embraces North Korean elder brother Park Young-soo for the first time in decades. Park Young-kun was one of the South Korean individuals chosen to travel to North Korea's Mount Kungang Resort on Thursday to meet with long-lost family. They represent the first cross-border reunions in more than three years. Park's elder brother was taken to North Korea while sailing on a ship in 1972. And for more than four decades, his family didn't hear a single word from him until today. Leading up to Thursday's meeting, Park struggled to put his feelings into words. My parents passed away not knowing how their son was doing. My parents couldn't tell anyone what they were really feeling. The feeling of losing your child like this isn't something one can fully comprehend. Pag and 81 others from the South are scheduled to meet with separated family members on six separate occasions over the next three days for a total of 11 hours before returning to South Korea Saturday afternoon. The second round of reunions will begin one day later and run through Tuesday, where 88 North Koreans will reunite with around 360 of their estranged relatives from the South. There are currently tens of thousands of South Koreans on a waiting list to meet one last time with their loved ones in the North, and hope is dwindling. Many of those seeking reunions are well into their 80s and 90s, and many more have already passed away, never getting that final chance to speak to and embrace those they love and miss the most. Kim Jiang, Arirang News.